Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Six Shooter. Probably wondering where Tyler's at. He's not in this episode today. Today I'm taking over. Some of you might not know me. I'm Garrett. I'm a very close friend of Tyler's and uh, recently we decided that uh, Tyler asked me to take over a lot of the hunting and fishing section of this YouTube page. And so for my first video I thought I'd kind of go over some of the basic duck calls. Uh, I've been duck hunting for quite a while with my dad and family members and uh, these are just some basic ones that I use that I have found to be pretty effective in the field. Uh, before we get started though, I kind of want to go over the basic fundamentals of a duck call. So the first part that you have here is your barrel. This barrel was actually custom made uh, and was given to me on my wedding day by my cousin, but the rest of the components is actually a Folks duck call. Folks are pretty popular, they've been, along for a or they've been around for a long time and uh, they make good quality duck calls. I like them. They've got an old traditional sound, uh, kind of more of a deeper, raspier sound to me. Um, so to get into it, like I said, the first part here is your barrel, then you have your exhaust port. Now if we get into the inside of the duck call here, I'll just pull it apart, see right here is the inside of our duck call. This right here is called your cork. This little thing here is your reed. This bottom part here is your soundboard and the end just like a car, your exhaust port. These five things combined is what makes your duck call. Basically what happens is the air travels in, that reed vibrates, produces the sound through the way it's grooved into the soundboard, and comes out the exhaust port, and then that's how you get your sound. The two calls I'll be using is a folks call with a, uh, with a, a barrel on it, a different barrel, and the other one I'll be using is actually a, a duck commander call. It's called the Sarge. I've used this one a lot, uh, I really like this one. It projects loud. It's got a good tone. Uh, the only problem that I've seemed to kind of have with this one is in the winter. Uh, if it's cold, it'll tend to freeze, whereas the good old folks doesn't. Uh, so let's just kind of get into some basic calls. The basic first one, you're just your standard quack. Typically what I do when I have my duck call is I take my thumb and my pointer and I kind of make and I wrap around like that. So I, the reason why I take it like this is I can use my hand to adjust the sound of the call. So your first quack, basically you just take the, the barrel here and you put it on the bottom of your lip like this and then you bring up the top and you're like that. Just like that. And the first one is just a It's all you gotta do, just a And then you move your hand out. Just like that. And see, you can kind of uh, kick these around uh, it just depends on how you, you know, adjust your breath. I like to usually, if I'm kind of quacking, just a ah, 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 just like that. Pretty easy to do, really basic. Um, typically, I kind of tend to use just like a solo quack like that uh, later on in the year. Uh, beginning of the, migra the migratory pattern, the ducks are more talkative and they're easier to use with your duck calls. Uh, you can tend to overcall a duck, you just got to kind of watch how they're working your decoys or flying along the ditch, however you decide to hunt. Uh, but these ones are that just a quick basic quack, it's a good way to get their attention. Now if you see you end up, you have, an, uh, you have the ducks, they're circling around, but they, they kind of start to take off. They, I like to use what I call is a comeback call. And that one is literally, I just call come back, 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 back. And how that one... It just, you know, you place your mouth the same way, and it's... That one will usually tend to turn them and have them fly by a second time to get a second glance at your decoys and see if they actually want to land. And if they come in low enough, you can tend to pass shoot them, or hopefully they cup up and come into your decoys. That one's really easy to do. Literally, it's just come back, 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 back. You do it with your breath. It's just... And to do that one, you have to basically bounce, take your tongue from the top of your mouth and throw it down. Just tha, 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 like that. It's really easy to do. It's very effective. I've used it several times, um, and it usually tends to turn the ducks. doesn't always turn them, but it's a good one to do. Uh, the next one that I like to do, I call the, it's a feeder call. Uh, these ones are typically, if you got a couple people to do, you know, you got some guys doing some solo quacks or you're doing your feeder, you can mix them all together. And the feeder one is you just go as fast as you can. It's like you're saying tick. And you go tick, 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 but you're just saying it with your breath. And then typically what I'll do is when I have my call is when I do that, 
I'll roll my fingers. And that kind of changes the audible sound that you get out of the call. Really easy to do. You just say like tick as fast as you can. It's just just like that. Really easy to do. And so you know, the reason why I roll my fingers is you can hear the difference in them. Just hear the difference. Either one will kind of work. I just like to uh, roll my fingers to get that different audible. I don't know. To me, it sounds like a duck has a mouthful of food or something. It makes it maybe makes them more interested. Um, but those three calls I've used. And they seem to have been pretty effective for me. Uh, they're just really basic calls. By no means am I an expert in duck calling. Uh, but, you know, it just it's the ones that I've been taught. And you can eventually, you know, just practice, practice, practice. They're, it's, and then you can just mix it into the way that uh, you like through, you know, uh, you can uh, change it up and everything like that. And then if you have other people making calls, you can have make people making solo calls while you're doing a feeder or vice versa or doing a comeback call and just a single quack with a feeder or just by yourself you can mix it up. Um, the, the pattern I usually like to do uh, if, if for the comeback or just trying to get their attention is just a just really easy. It's just a bup, bup, bup and then I hit them with that comeback call. It's a very popular that uh, call that I like to do and it seems to work fairly well and then eventually I'll throw in the feeder or I'll run a feeder and then run into that kind of a call. Another little uh, uh, blurb I kind of like to do every now and again is just <laughs> just some really easy calls. It's just those are, you know, ta ta ta, wah ta 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 ta, just like that. That's all you have to do with your breath. And as long as you have a, your mouth placed right, don't blow too hard, because if you blow too hard, it'll uh, make a high-pitched squeal. Uh, and if you don't blow loud enough, then you're not going to move that read right, and you won't get the sound that you want. Uh, all I can say is just practice these. Go out, buy yourself a duck call. And uh, like, comment, subscribe to YouTube. Look us up on Instagram at Six Shooter TV. Hit that like button. Follow us. And hopefully we'll put out more content for you guys. Take care.